Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This video is a bit of a departure from my normal videos but hey I did say that I might throw in some Final Cut Pro tutorials so if you're a Final Cut Pro editor this is one I think you'll like. In this video I'll show you how to create title presets in Final Cut Pro 10 so you can apply them to text in your projects without having to manually change the parameters every time. So stick around. Hi guys and welcome back. I've noticed that one of the things that successful channels have are good quality thumbnails. You'll probably have seen many times in one of the many how to grow your channel videos. Okay, I've watched plenty of them myself. Now one of the things they always say is to have good clear thumbnails. But not only that, I've also noticed that they're very consistent. Consistent in terms of look and feel and if they have text on the thumbnail, consistent in terms of the font that they use and how they format that font. Here's some examples of what I mean from some of my favorite channels, the likes of The Everyday Dad, The Enthusiasm Project, David Manning, and Social Pants. Now when you get into the really big league like Peter McKinnon, Matty Hapoya, Marquez Brownlee, and those sorts of guys, you can afford to freestyle a little bit more because your subscriber base is so large, you're not quite so reliant on people being attracted to your videos by the thumbnail. Quick question for you. What channels do you subscribe to that have a consistent look and feel or style to their thumbnails? I'd be keen to check them out and I'm sure other viewers would be too. So let me know in the comments below. So lately I've made a concerted effort to make my thumbnails more consistent from a look and feel perspective and in particular with the fonts that I use each time and in the case of my most recent COVID-19 lockdown videos, even trying a consistent treatment of color. Now, I usually make my thumbnails directly in Final Cut Pro, either at the end of the project timeline or by creating a separate project within the same event or library. When I put text on the thumbnail, I use a basic title from the Final Cut Pro titles library and then go and make changes to that text, including changing the font, changing the size, sometimes changing the color, adding a drop shadow, making some glow, you know, all of that jazz. And I've been doing that each and every time to each separate title, which actually is not that efficient and not the best use of my time, especially when I don't really have a lot of time to make videos anyway when you're juggling a full-time job, family, and all that stuff. So to speed up my workload when it comes to creating consistent titles within Final Cut Pro, I've discovered that you can save all of the changes you've made to a title as a preset. Then in the future, when you add a basic title to your timeline, you can select and apply the preset you've saved and everything that you did, including font type, size, color, all applies to your new title, saving you heaps of time. So let's have a look at how to do that, and it's super simple. First, add a basic title like we did before and make the changes you want. Once you've done that, go up here, click on this, and then select Save All Format and Appearance Attributes. It is quite a long description, so maybe in the future they'll create a Title Preset button. And then name the preset whatever you want and click Save. So let's give it a try to apply that preset. On your timeline, create a basic title, change the text to say whatever it was you wanted, go up here, click on the Text Format panel, select your preset, and boom! All of your attributes are applied. Too easy. So there you go guys, a quick and easy way to save basic title presets that will save you heaps of time when you're creating titles with the same look and feel each time. If you got value from this video, be sure to hit the like button below, and if you like this type of content, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video.